Hello. Because I say always, I will try to give smart photo advice. I will try to continue this way. You know that I have two very loved camera. It's a Sony full frame and the G9 micro four third. The full frame is for low light and uh, when I need very high quality uh, picture when it's the uh, evening. The rest of the day, this one and this one, no difference at all. But the big, big difference is, of course, the size of the sensor. And the advantage for this one is when you like the uh, very blurry background, personally, I don't, uh, I'm, I'm not a big fan of that. I prefer to have more depth of uh, field and like I always say, I have the nose and the ears in focus, not only the eyes or not only the nose or not only, okay. Then even uh, if I use 1.7 on this one, I have it. On this one, I use a 1.8, sometimes it's tricky, critical. <coughs> now, when I go to travel, it's always big deal because I don't know which one I have to take. First, I clean all my lenses I didn't uh, need. Then I sold a lot of lenses to, to keep something uh, usable and not have uh, the valet parking following me with uh, the luggage. Okay, then I find the, for example, the 24 uh, 240 from Sony is a good lens. It's not as sharp or as uh, 2470 or the Tamron uh, 2875, uh, but it's a lot more uh, practical and convenient when you go in uh, when you travel. But I find something I think even smarter. <coughs> this one is an old 28-300 from Sigma. It works very well on the Sony with the Photodiox Pro Fusion. Be careful because all this adaptator doesn't work very well on each camera, even if it's the same mount. Look at that here. Okay, you see, I change. I am on silent, then you don't hear anything, but it's focused very fast. You see, look, I'll do like this. I move. You see, it's fast. I have nothing to complain. It's not as fast as this one, but it's fast enough. Okay, the good things, I can take this lens. You can find it for uh, $200, $250 in uh, very good shape like uh, this one. And the good things, you, took, you take another adaptator for the micro forcer and now you have a 600 focal lens 28 to 300 by 2 then you have 600 in the long end it's very convenient to have a small like small lens like this 600 and what is more convenient too it's, I can use it with this camera, with this camera, and with my JX9, who is smaller. And the best thing, it's 
the 100, uh, 400 from Tamron. This lens is only uh, $690, something like this. Sometimes even cheaper. And this one, I put, I put on it, I tried a lot, like you can see, a lot of uh, different uh, brands. The worst was always the most expensive, Metabone. Metabone, I was desperate because I buy it, I return it, I said it's not a good one, uh, it doesn't work. And always it was not working very fast and very well. Very disappointed. This one, I use it with a speed booster, like this, I gain one stop. I use it without speed booster on this one, like this, I have 800. And I use it with uh, this uh, adapter. I find it, it's the same than the Photodiodes, another brand and, and name, and it's work better than the Photodiodes, or here, you no, know, it's written on the E-mount FX. Okay, and this one, I have a 400 on this one. Uh, Viltrox is normally very good. But I'm very, very disappointed of uh, Viltrox with the new one. This one is supposed to be the new model, M22. And <laughs> the weird things, it's supposed to work only with the old uh, Lumix camera, like the, the J85 or the G8. I try it on the G85. I try it on the G8. I try it on the Olympus EPL3. Not working at all. Then I, okay, perhaps it's because it's a new one. Then I check, I uh, try it on the G9 and the JX9. Not working at all. I asked explanation and they send me a listing saying very clearly that it's not working with the G9. It's not working with the JX9, is working with the old G8, is working with the old G85, and it's working with the GH5. Then, okay, because it's not working with my G8, I called a friend of mine who had, who has the J. H5 and it's not working at all also then don't buy the new Vitrox EFM22 the manual focus from Viltrox are always fantastic very good quality uh, very uh, uh, oh, where are you? okay I put it on the uh, old uh, Nikon but it's not here Okay, I hope, uh, like usual, I will, I will add a link. First, I will add the picture I did with uh, this 28300 with the Sony. And I will add a link on uh, below with a Google photo. Like this, you can see all the picture I did with all this camera. The big advantage I can have one set of lens, except the native, of course, from Sony, but for the long, uh, long uh, range zoom, I have now only one or one like this. I resell all my uh, very good uh, uh, Lumix lens, Leica, but so heavy and I don't want to take two of them. Then 
one is enough. <laughs> Have a nice day. I hope uh, I, it was another smart uh, advice. I repeat, I'm not a professional. I'm a fan of uh, photo. I have a lot of friends who uh, are like me. I don't need to have uh, special things, uh, G, uh, M mas G Master Lens, uh, who cost uh, $2,500 and things like this. I spent a lot enough money on uh, my stuff and you cannot see the difference. You know, if you go online, you search, um, you search, uh, how is his name? Okay, I will add it on the, on the link below and you will see that even guys who had a million and a half or something like this a subscriber has the same idea than me you cannot have a better picture with 24 than 45 nikon for example i had the nikon d850 because it always it's always a, a, a broom a, fog like this it cuts your uh, sharpness if it's from far and if it's uh, very narrow I just did one with two very nice lenses 1.885 from Nikon and the other one the 1.885 from Sony I put on the website the results and you can see it. You will see if you see a difference. Personally, I don't. And what I do to be sure that I'm not crazy, I put my computer with the HGME cable on the biggest 4K TV you can have. It's a 86 inch. And 